Hi, I'm John Mackay. The boss is in town. I'm going to be there. All the cool kids are. I'm here with John Mackay, who is possibly one of the biggest Bruce Springsteen fans around. John, tell me, when did you first become a fan of The Boss? Uh, I was first drawn to The Boss uh, with his album Born in the USA from 1984. Well, I probably heard it in 85, actually, um, which just blew me away. I thought it was fantastic. Um, and it was it's not his own favourite album. He doesn't particularly care for it because it's a kind of cast off from other albums and maybe a couple of singles in there. But from then on, I followed everything he's ever done, but also worked into his back catalogue and everything he's done. But apart from his really early stuff, which I'm not so fond of, but uh, just everything he does, I connect with in some way. Was there one particular song on that album that you get drawn in by? There were, there were two. Um, one of them was uh, I'm On Fire, uh, which is just a very sexy track. It's just... Uh, is that your, your theme song then for a night out, John? Now that you mention it, I think I'll, yeah, hey, 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 I'm on fire, yes, yes, I see a whole new whole new vista of entertainment coming my way. No, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a great song. And the other one was called My Hometown, which is about the decline of a, of a town in, in the States, but Glasgow had emerged from industrial decline at the same time, so although the song was about an American town, you can apply it very much to Glasgow, to Scotland, to your own life, and that, that for me has always been the attraction of Springsteen, although he's talking about his own life, it's easily, uh, you can easily see aspects of your own life. That's obviously an album from quite a while ago. Do you prefer his older music or his more modern stuff? I think uh, he, he gets through peaks and troughs. They're not all brilliant, but uh, I mean, his latest one, Wrecking Ball, uh, is all about the, the, the financial collapse and how it's impacted on, on regular folk. Um, and again, it's all about connection. For me with Springsteen, it's all about connections. Do I connect with that? Um, so uh, he has had brilliant albums uh, since uh, Born in the USA. Um, Tunnel of Love, the one that immediately followed it, was a really powerful uh, album on relationships uh, and just a very mature album. Uh, and previous ones uh, were, were just about you know alienation and all the things that young people go through. Um, and it's that, as I say, connection that every now and again you, you find a track and just like, I, I, can, I can see exactly what he's talking about. And how big a fan are you exactly? Would you call yourself a super fan or do you... Well, do I don't know about super I've certainly been to see him uh, several times. I've got all his albums. I've got plenty of books about on anything that comes up I'm, I'm, I'm across it um, I did more in the passing of, uh, of Clarence Clemens his, his saxophonist and, and Danny Federici his keyboards player Th I mean genuinely things like that these guys who followed their performance for years and you, know, you, uh, you, know, you, you actually feel it when they, when they pass it's like you know, something that you've connected with for so long that has gone so super fan maybe not I, I'm not uh, I, but I would love to I, I, I tend to uh, go and see him in, in concert in the States and all, and all the rest of it um, it's just uh, he speaks to me that sounds really pretentious but he does and you're going to see Bruce Springsteen in Glasgow this summer yes. as well are you looking forward to the concert very much uh, his concerts are, are superb I, I first time I went to see him was actually at Hamden uh, and it's uh, he, he doesn't have support bands, so if you go to any other concert, you, you're getting a, a concert that start with say seven o'clock, uh, half past seven, say, uh, and you assume uh, you get support band, you get hanging about, so they'll come on at nine. Springsteen was on. It was half seven. It started. Bang! Springsteen was on half seven. And I never got there because of the traffic. I was working here. So I never got there until we came off the air. By the time the traffic, I'm walking up to Hamden. I can hear the opening songs already. Distraught. Um, but then you, you think he's playing for so long, and he does, he plays for three and a half, four hours. Oh, that must be tedious, but it's not. And he talks about his band being a show band. It's not the same concert, it's not the same set list they do all the time. They can adapt to anything, they can take requests from the audience and all the rest of it. And the, the musicianship is just fantastic. And for three and a half, four hours, it just goes like that, it's fantastic. And I believe you're so keen to see him this time round. You've actually taken a day off work. Well, I thought, well, what's, what's my priority today? Is it informing the nation, or is it going to see the boss? Now, there's not much comes between me and the Fabio but I have to go to see the boss. That's, <laughs> that's one of them, yeah. Have you ever met him before? I haven't. It's a big ambition. Um, uh, you know, we, we meet a lot of people in this industry, as you well know, and, and uh, you know, eventually, I wouldn't say you get blase about it, but it's not such a big deal over a period of time. But meet the boss would be a big deal. Uh, an old colleague of mine, Billy Sloan, did meet him. He interviewed him when he was playing at the SECC many years ago. Uh, and, and Springsteen goes around when he's uh, doing a concert. He'll go around with his guitar just all different parts of the, the hall just to make sure the acoustics are right. I mean, he's got an infectious. Um, and I know Billy uh, uh, 
met him there and spoke to him there, and I've asked Billy countless times, what did he say? What did he say? What was he like? So it's that kind of thing. I don't have that with anyone else, but with the boss, I think I would, yeah. So would you go as far as to try and track him down when he's in Glasgow and try and set up some sort of meeting with him? Well, I thought, um, is it the sort of thing an anchor man should do? Should he go outside the boss's hotel with a placard going, I love you, boys, I love you, boys? Um, and it was in the balance, but I think fundamentally, no. But I think uh, you get a chance to have a beer with the boss. Absolutely. Um, and I'll buy. We'll try and track him down for do, you, Jordan. Do let me know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll enjoy the concert. I will do. And we're looking forward to hearing all about it the next day. Uh, you will. <laughs> <laughs>